Man, dealing with Maelstrom always gives me the jitters. They're unpredictable at the best of times. And with Brick out of the picture, who knows what Royce has planned. Dex might say he's already paid for the flathead bot. But in this city, credits don't mean squat if you don't have the muscle to back it up. Brick being ousted adds a whole new layer of uncertainty to the situation. He was the closest thing they had to stability, and now with him gone, it's like a powder keg waiting to blow. Royce might not care about honoring uh, Brick's agreement, and that's bad news for us. Let me hear what you squared away. That an arch? Ah, oh, damn! What a beaut. Yeah, I got her cheap too. Dorset job dividend. Huh? Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Parent already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. You waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. Let's see if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? Take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. I've got Militech's payment ready just in case things go south, but I'm not too keen on dipping into my own pocket for this. Go on, let them know we're here. Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Jow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. That's Militech, all right. Psycho Borgs chromed out with military-grade hardware with millions. Should be fun. Muchas minas, chica. In the middle of town. These loons think there's a war go Anti personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. It's a risk, no doubt about it. But hey, that's life in Night City, right? Always on the edge, always one step away from disaster. All I can do is hope for the best and be ready for the worst. Royce. 
We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. He will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. Primerito, I don't like this guy's tone. Segundo, sitting on your ass makes you an easy target. Sit your ass down for Jack, the planet. Bo sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Well, all right. Come on, got lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? Skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. to see it. Lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Ha! Now that's good business sense. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that. Without batting a fucking eye. <laughs> I hand over the chip. You hand over the bot. Clean and easy. No complications. Look at this fucking Girl Scout. You know all your nods. Got all your badges. <laughs> you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? Maybe a good? Consider my offer now. Creds on this. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Cover! 
Grab the gear. Bottom control shard. Quick. Gotta find a way out of here. Got the set. Bot and controller. Let's go. Quicker the better. Let's get out of here. Dying for some fresh air. Damn, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. That Militech payment shit was supposed to smooth things over, not fry the whole damn network and escalate things into a full-blown firefight. Now we're knee-deep in it, fighting our way through Maelstrom's turf, with every chrome-headed goon in the building gunning for us. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. There's no other way. Jackie and I are outnumbered and outgunned. But we've got no choice but to push forward and grab that flathead bot. Oh, good. Let's go. Let's go. I can't help but curse Dex under my breath for getting us into this mess. Paying for a bot that's already claimed by another gang was a bad move, and now we're paying the price. But there's no time for regrets now. We've got to focus on getting out of here in one piece, flathead in tow, and I dealing with the good. fallout later. As we blast our way through the facility, I can't shake the feeling that things are only going to get worse from here. Maelstrom won't take this betrayal lightly, and we'll have every chrome freak in Night City on our tail before long. You know who you're messing with? Fighting through this maelstrom hellhole is like wading through molasses. The guillotine power SMG might not be my top pick, but it's getting the job done, especially when combined with my quick hacks to take out those pesky metronomes. Fucking coward! Show yourself! Uh, 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 Jackie's doing his best, bless him. But I can't help but notice that his aim seems to be a bit off today. Dual wielding those custom pistols might look badass, but it's not doing much to thin out the maelstrom ranks. But hey, when you're living on the edge, sometimes you've just got to roll with the punches and hope for the best. Man, talk about a messed up situation. Here we are trapped in the heart of Maelstrom territory, with Brick held captive and rigged with explosives. It's a sickening sight, but I know I can't just leave him here to suffer at the hands of Royce and his goons. your call, V. What do you want to do? Detonator. Armed. As I hold the detonator in my hand, I can't help but feel a pang of uncertainty. This isn't just about survival anymore. It's about making a choice that could have far-reaching consequences for Night City's underworld. But then again, maybe that's exactly what this city needs. But, all said and done, I was a goon. Ruthless at that. A shake-up to break the stranglehold of violence and corruption. It's a brutal way to bring about change. But sometimes, in Night City, you've got to fight fire with fire. 
And if taking down Royce and Brick means paving the way for a better future, then it's a price I'm willing to pay. Well, that was one hell of a meat grinder back there. Literally. Maelstrom gonks swarming from every corner, bullets flying left and right, dodging and weaving, taking cover behind anything that offers even a shred of protection. Jackie's doing his best to provide support, but I can't shake this feeling of annoyance. It's not that I doubt Jackie's skills or his intentions, but sometimes it feels like he's more interested in putting on a show than actually hitting his targets. Dual wielding those flashy pistols might look impressive, but when push comes to shove, I need him to focus on putting those bullets where they count. But still, he managed to survive the onslaught, and that's no small feat. Now we just need to find our way out of this labyrinthine facility before we end up as Maelstrom's next batch of processed meat. Not far now, Chica.
know who you're messing with. Time to keep our heads down, stay alert, and pray we find that exit sooner rather than later. Despite the chaos, I can't help but feel a sense of determination coursing through me. We might be outnumbered and outgunned, but we faced worse odds before. As long as we stick together and keep our wits about us, we'll find a way to come out on top. Jackie, focus up. We need every shot to count if we're gonna make it out of here in one piece.
As I leave all foods, a wave of mixed emotions washes over me. Taking down Royce was a major victory. No doubt about it. With him out of the picture, Maelstrom's leadership is in shambles. But at what cost? We've stirred up a hornet's nest, that's for sure. Maelstrom won't take this lying down, and there's bound to be consequences. The gang landscape in Night City is about to shift, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad Come thing. On, v. Let's get out of here. Sure. Maelstrom was a bunch of psycho thugs. But they were also a known quantity. Now, with chaos reigning supreme, who knows what'll happen next? It's a dangerous game we're playing, and I can't help but wonder if we've just opened Pandora's box. But there's no turning back now. We've made our bed, and now we've got to lie in it. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Fuck you, cunt! That's for your trickery! Mature. Real mature. I want a perimeter. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, mamita. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know. We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Hay luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Matt with Stout managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. One thing Stout forgot to mention. Chip was carrying a virus. Oldest Corpo trick in the book. I assume Royce was less than understanding. Virus attacked their systems, scorched a handful of maelstromers. I took care of the rest. You got some balls, Miss B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V.